GX13 ships with a modified GM70 designed to work as a control voltage expander, the GX13 does not require the modified GM70 to work. By itself, the GX13 works very much like a vintage Roland BC13. In addition to converting 24 pin signals to the 13 pin format, the GX13 adds two additional adjustments for volume control, plus an input for a Roland EV5 pedal to control the normal guitar signal, and a mute input jack for muting the output of uh, the guitar and the synthesizer. For most guitar synths, simply turn the synth volume control on the GX13 to maximum when using it as a standalone unit. The guitar volume adjust controls the output of the normal guitar signal sent to the attached 13 pin synth. This level is more critical on the Roland GR55 with many patches designed to process the normal guitar output. By contrast, the VG99 has very few patches that use the normal guitar signal. The recommended position for the normal guitar level is between 2 o'clock and 3 o'clock. The signal sent to the GX13 is tapped directly off the pickup in the vintage guitar. The guitar's tone control is active, but the guitar's volume knob is not active. The GX13 has an input for an optional EV5 pedal to control the level of the normal guitar sound. This level works in conjunction with the volume adjust control. Even with the EV5 plugged in and the pedal in the down or maximum position, if the guitar adjust level is at 75% or the 3 o'clock position, the maximum output will still be 75%. The final option for the GX13 is the mute input jack. This feature was specifically designed with the Roland FS6 foot switch in mind. This jack is actually two mute controls wired to a tippering sleeve jack. The tip mutes the synth output and the ring connection mutes the guitar signal. This feature duplicates the three position guitar, guitar synth, synth switch found on a Roland GK3. Note, you can use a basic tip sleeve connection for the synth mute, but doing so will mute the guitar output.